Good morning, it's uh, day three of the Essex Way. We've done a bit over 50 miles over the last two days. Uh, so if you've only just started this, watching this video, you've not seen the other two, I recommend you go watch them first. Maybe even our information videos to why we're doing this walk or some of our previous training walks. Uh, the sun's just rising off in the distance. Um, obviously last night, we didn't get to finish recording because the sunset. Same is very much the case this morning of setting off. We weren't able to record setting off from Great Hawksley because it was too dark. Um, but luckily now the sun's just poking its corona up over the horizon and uh, we're making the most of it at the moment, getting some lovely photos and making the most of the uh, nice cool air before it starts getting really hot today. Um, so, oh, obviously, now you're gonna see uh, as much as that we could have captured this morning in the low light levels. And then we're just gonna talk a bit about, about the route today, the kind of distance we're covering. Um, it is quite a long one today. And obviously last night we did try to get as much of it knocked out as possible. But um, yeah, trying to get there for six o'clock tonight. It's gonna be a bit of a race against the clock. Um, but yeah, hopefully you get some nice views today up along the coast. Um, but yeah, as you can tell, we're all tired. We had about four hours of sleep last night, about six hours the night before about three hours the night before that, so we're gonna be running on fumes later. So I do apologize in advance, just in case the video quality drops off a bit, but I'll try to the best of my ability to keep it as high as possible, because uh, otherwise it wouldn't be much fun to watch back, and I'd be eternally regretful of having missed an opportunity like this. So it's just about knuckling down and cracking on how are we doing this morning, Harrison? Yeah, not too bad. There's a bit of growing pain. A bit stiff from yesterday, huh? How are we doing this morning, Tom? Yeah, not so bad, enjoying the sunrise. Awesome, awesome. But hasn't that been a bit of a morale boost, hey? Yeah, oh yeah, the sunrise always is, isn't it? It's gorgeous. So uh, we're gonna crack a on a bit in. further up the Essex Way and we'll catch up with you in a bit. Today's walk is 30 miles, starting at Great Hawksley and ending in Harwich. The first leg takes us to Langham Church. The second leg takes us to Dedham. The third leg takes us to Manningtree. The fourth leg takes us to Ravness. And the final destination is then on to Harwich.
keep a tight formation oh, more confidently. So a right. tight formation. Red one standing by. And don't look it in the eye. Look, look, look at the pull on the left. It's a big one. Yeah. Hello, sweetie. It's got so many flies on it, it looks like it's going to take off. Oh, look at that big boy. That's the bull. That's the bull. Yeah. We just got to camouflage your rucksack up, Tom. Yeah, we should give it a wide berth, be alright. Good morning. They're proper interested though, aren't they? Yeah, like. That age, Who are but... these aliens? These, these guys are pretty young. See, look, they come to check us out. Yeah. They're, they're, they're sort of friend. that age where they're past being a bit timid and they're getting all curious. Yeah. <laughs> So uh, we've just done that leg from uh, the uh, church over at Langham all the way here. That was a nice walk, wasn't it? Yeah, it was very nice. We've yeah. Seen it. yeah, we managed to keep quite a bit of altitude, so uh, there wasn't really much in the way of uh, difficult or rough terrain. Mm. It was just, you know, well kept paths the whole way. And um, we got to see some uh, National Trust sites as well. So hopefully we'll be able to see some more of them as we head on towards our next stop in Mistley. Uh, yeah, so um, yeah, we're doing really well. Um, so yeah, we'll see you there. So um, the clip you just saw, the uh, hyperlapse, basically me and Tom uh, needed to go to the loo. So he went to the loo while there was a public toilet there. And really sensible decision when you're walking because you don't know when you might get that opportunity again. It was luxurious. Yeah, so you take it while you're there. Um, and we, we said to Harrison, look mate, you don't need to go to the toilet, just crack on and we'll catch up with you. We'll just bomb it. Um, Harrison managed to beat us here. He was a um, rocket absolute rocket we obviously as you saw completely bombed it here uh how far did we just do then uh three probably, miles yeah probably a good three miles yeah three miles that's um in what time are we talking minutes. Minutes. yeah so that's four, just over three minutes. miles an hour um you know we probably did some bits quicker and some bits slower but which is something quite interesting we'll be able to look at on the playback but um 
we're pretty much at Manning Tree now. We're at uh, Lawford Church. So we're going to keep going into Manning Tree um, and head on towards Rabness, which is probably going to be the next time we see you. We've got just under 12 miles today. Just under 12 miles done or just up to 12 miles to go? I was in like 12 miles to go. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. How much have we done already? Uh, we've done, I know, kilometres. Real-time uh, calculations 20, here. 23 kilometres, which is uh, 14 miles. So we're well over halfway. Yeah. Which is really nice. Um, how are you guys feeling, by the way, in terms of like injuries, happiness? Yeah, feeling oh, good. The, the sun is out, so yeah, it's always a bonus, isn't it? Way better with the sun out. Yeah. So, um, given this is our last day, it's you know we're doing really well. Yeah. Having walked for two days previously, pretty far. Um, I think this can constitutes a bit of a water stop. I think so. Yeah. Um, we will show you all the sites we can on way and uh, hopefully we can see Grace and Perry's uh, house for Essex when we get there. Uh, it's not actually on the route but we might be able to just see it from a distance. Um, so yeah, we'll see you when we get to Rabness. It was nice to get a bit of shade after that long walk. We're uh, just now in Missley. We just had a quick look at Missley Towers. We don't really have too long to stick around and look at them too much. Uh, it's a privilege for another time. Um, but uh, we're heading on now down further towards the estuary. Um, the Missley Towers, you can see right now, was uh, part of an old church. Uh, but the church in the middle was knocked down and the only bit that remained was the two towers on the outside. So uh, they certainly are an interesting sight now. Kind of boggle the mind if you didn't quite know what it was. But um, yeah, we're going to keep on going through Missley, an old brewing village. And then uh, continue up the coast towards Rabness. So... Uh, Hopefully you enjoy the sights on the way up, just as we do, and we'll see you in a bit. We've uh, just taken a quick stop, because we've done quite a bit of walking there, and uh, we've come across the Missley Nuclear Bunker. You can see the big tower over there. You probably can't see on the screen because it's so small, but there's a little green building there and they've put some new builds into uh, sort of surrounding it. But that's the Missley nuclear bunker that was used in the Cold War. Very nice.
So um, Harrison's going to crack on. Tom's got a bit of footwork to do. Um, so Harrison's going to crack on. And what we're going to do is the same as earlier. So we're going to try and see if we can catch up with him at Stourwood. Um, so yeah, I don't know what you're hanging around for, mate. <laughs> see you later, Harrison. Look at that motivation. <laughs> oh crap, wait. <laughs> crap. <laughs> Off he goes. Wait a minute, we've done ourselves in it. <laughs> wait, sure he's actually going to do that the whole way, you know that. <laughs> <laughs> I bet he was doing that earlier. I bet that's why we didn't catch up with him. You what? know what? Because he was saying, yeah, Tavern uses different muscles, isn't he? That's exactly what he's been doing. I wouldn't mind Tavern. Off he goes. Look, you can't even see him anymore. He's basically floating arms now. Off he goes into the distance. Yeah. He, oh, he waited. I just saw him. He thought he was out of view and then he, st he stopped running. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So, yeah, we're going to try and catch up with him. Look at him, look. Doing his little tweenies stuff. Out my feet. <laughs> All right, Milo. Oh, I've got such a dead foot. Or bone foot, as it's been called. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but yeah, we're gonna try catch up with Harrison. Um, just keep it competitive, keep it moving. He seems to quite like walking on his own. I can't imagine why, eh? But it's like self motivation, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. People motivate better on their own. Yeah, so um, hopefully that will work out quite nicely. And oh, I just found a crusty sock. Is that yours? No, it's not mine. Why the? F why the hell did you pick it up then? Because my elbow had already touched it and I've got anti bags. So. <laughs> well, I don't think anti bags going to sort that out. It's a sock, <laughs> mate. What do you think they're doing with it and dumping it? Oh. <laughs> well, it's not that sort of crusty. It's crusty muddy. They were definitely wiping their forehead with it. That's a sweat sock, that one. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. Um, how are you? Foot. Have you done your other foot yet? No. Hurry up. I was just giving We're gonna lose him. I, I already said I'm not gonna do my. If he starts foot, running again, we're not, we're never gonna catch up with him. Well, do you wanna go for a run then? No. Well, neither do I. <laughs> but I don't think he's running now. Right. Okay. No, I think I think we should make the most of Harrison running. All right. Okay. Um. Right. Yeah. Hopefully this competitivity means that because we've got three hours basically to get to Harridge. It's three o'clock now. Maybe we need to get there for half, six. Yeah. Um. Hopefully this will just speed things up a bit. Um, and we can get there with like a little bit of, you know, awesome margin of error. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know I'm, why you. Ready when you are. I, ready when I am. You yeah. haven't done your other foot yet. I don't need to do my. I've, I did say that at the start. Oh okay. And Harrison was like, "Well, do I go? Do I not go?" And I was like, "Yeah, yeah, I'll do my other foot." All right then. It's, it's cool. We can go Off down. we go. We're walking uh, pretty slowly now. We've just had a quick stop. Uh, we don't have much time to sit around and, you know, do all sorts of nice stuff. We've got to crack on with the walk. Um, it takes a short while just to let the muscles ease up again and get used to walking on blisters and stuff. But um, basically we've got to go up one hill, down the same hill on the other side, and we're down on the south coast. Anyway, we're up on the north coast of Harwich. 
and then um, follow the coast up to the Harwich town. Uh, it's going to be a beastly walk this. Uh, we've got two hours to do it in, which is just a massively daunting thing to think that two hours is tight for time. You know, if you could imagine sitting in a room on your own for two hours, it's just ghastly, you know, not if you're not doing anything. But then smack on top of it, over 80 miles of walking, fatigue, injuries, uh, rough terrain. Um, you're talking about a real, real challenge there. So uh, we're just going to press on with it. And hopefully at some point along this walk, uh, you'll be able to see some of the sights we see. Um, but we are absolutely knackered. There's no way about putting it any other way. Um, we just need to just get our heads down and crack on with it. So the next time uh, you hear from us will be just before we begin the coastal stretch towards Harwich. One thing we've noticed is coming over the brow of the hill here, see the coast, really, really nice to see that coast, um, is the Walton on the Nose Tower. You probably can't see it on the screen. I don't know, maybe, but it's there. That's just a nice little thing to know that you come to Harwich and you can see across the water to Walton. Uh, also, we've been able to see the Principality of Sealand from up here which is an old anti-aircraft position that was built off the coast of, uh, of um, basically the perimeter of the North Sea. And um, it was just to stop uh, the Luftwaffe, if they ever tried to invade England, uh, from getting across. And over the years it's uh, been claimed by the Principality of Sealand and it's they believe they have a claim to it as an independent state. That's what it is. Uh, the British state uh, says that it's theirs, so it's a bit up in the air. But that side, we're going to keep on walking. I uh, just thought it would be interesting to share it with you. Uh, I might be able to show you it here now, actually, now that it's opened up. It's pretty far off in the distance. Doubt you can see it. But yeah, just random facts 101 with Owen and Tom. We're good at them. As we try to catch up with Harrison, who's absolutely beasted it off ahead of us. Yeah, he's tabbed off. We gave him a 10 second head start and now we can't even see him. Yeah, oh, I can see him. him. Oh, okay. He's about 150, 200 meters down there, you see him. Absolute mad lad. Yeah, crazy. So yeah, pretty good going. You see that off in the distance, that red flag? That's Harrison and we're catching on him. And we're gonna get our flags out in a bit and all go into Harwich together with our flags on. How are we doing lads? Oh, hey. very good. <laughs> we're nearly there now. We're nearly there. How far is it, Tom? Huh? How far is it, Tom? Uh, about four and a half K. Four and a half K. So we're looking good. Not bad at all. We're really not looking good. <laughs> we, uh, we were just coming down the, the brow of the hill and I got stung in the eye by something. Just flying straight at me, hit me in the eye. Um, but I'm in so much pain in my legs that it's just a cold feeling in my eye. Uh, it's like numb in it, so. It's pretty cool, I guess. Um, you just got to grizz it out and keep going, didn't you? Uh, if you want something bad enough, you just keep going. We're going to stop at the beach out, so you can pretty much just see them above the hedgerow. But um, we're going to take 10 at the beach huts. Uh, get a little bit of rest, get the flags up, and just absolutely beast that final leg along the promenade. Should be good.
So uh, we're going to make this quick. We've just finished the walk now. Um, we've seen the mayor. Really nice to meet him and say hi. Uh, how did you find the end of the walk, chaps? Oh, uh, it was it was good. It was nice coming along. It was a nice foot and early to sort of come along the seafront and uh, see all the people at the beach and then saw the mayor. So nice ending to a great journey. How did you find it, Harrison? Yeah, not so bad. Well, yeah, yeah, well, a bit more than bad. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, painful <laughs> so just remember to if you watch this video just to donate online to age concern and um, through the links in obviously all of our videos um, make sure you share it as much as you can because obviously the more people who view it the more people who share it the more people who donate to age concern and um, also make sure you follow us on uh, Instagram Facebook at you the island and I uh, maybe we might be stupid enough to come up with a new plan for something in the future uh, maybe something a bit different, hopefully, once things open up. Um, maybe, you know... Donut don't... eating challenge? That sounds like more fun. <laughs> we might need to do something like that after today. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but um, thank you so much for watching all of this, and uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. So we'll see you later. All <laughs> <laughs> Leave that in.